Hello, Terracon4 here. This video is about my 2D radar system. It consists of an actor that does the scanning, and a widget that does the displaying of the scanned things. The widget can be added to the player's viewport, or put on a widget component in an actor. The display widget has options for changing the visuals of the widget itself, while most of the options are found in the actor. First, the actor finds targets based on set tags. You tell it to search for a certain tag, and if there's another actor around it with that tag, it'll check to see if it's something it should display or not. There are different behaviors for different tags that you can stick on actors, so that they can have different visual ping widgets or show up for different amounts of time. You can also make some tags only show up at shorter distances than others, so there's a few basic options here. Next is the option for the radar itself. These include things like what range it can detect actors and at what angles it can observe them. So you can make it only find actors in front of it or perhaps all around it, whatever you need. And lastly, you got the scanning options. The scanning refers to the idea of the 2D radar actor only being able to look in one direction at a time on its horizontal axis and needing to actively sweep its field of view from side to side to actually see where things are. When it scans something, it saves that return. That return will remain where it is on the display until the scanner comes back and updates that area again, or until it fades out on its own depending on the set lifetime of that actor's tag. The scanner has options to control how fast it scans, which direction it scans in, and if it alternates directions or upon finishing simply starts back at the other side. Overall, it's a fairly straightforward package that allows you to create a system that mimics some of the older fashioned radars and other sensors, especially the types that you'll see a lot on movies and in popular media. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be sure to read them as soon as I get the chance.